Hello there, welcome to Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of this plugin. In this video, I'll take you behind the scenes to show you how you can create a smart survey funnel using Smart Quiz Builder. What I mean by this is, say that you have a survey on your site where you ask a bunch of questions and no matter what the response is, you always ask everyone the same next question. Now that's just a static survey and that's what most people have. What I want to show you is how you can create a smart survey where answers dictate the next question. For example, I have a smart quiz builder feedback survey on my site. I want to find out what my customers think about SQB, what we can do to make it better, what are the things they like, what are the things they don't like. So say that the first question in the survey is, do you like smart quiz builder? And say the response is, I don't. For whatever reason, say the response is, I don't. Now, my next question, if I ask them, what is it that you like about SQB or would you recommend it that wouldn't make sense, right? Because they just told me they don't like Smart Quiz Builder. The logical next question is, uh, what is it that you don't like, right? What makes you not like SQB? What can we do to make it better? So those are the logical next question. So answers should dictate the next question for it to be a really effective, useful survey. The questions you ask should be based on what they responded to the previous question. So I'll show you how I built my survey. It's a smart survey where answers dictate the next question. I'll show you how I built my funnel. Uh, so I'll show you step by step how you can do the same for your survey or for your quiz, how you can build a smart quiz funnel or a smart survey funnel. All right, so let's take a look. Let me give you a quick demo of the front end to show you how this works. So if you go to the smartquizbuilder.com site, you will notice that there is a survey funnel demo. You can click on it. So this is my smart quiz builder feedback survey demo. So you can see here, this is the start screen. When users click on this button, it's going to show them the first question. And this is the first question. Now say that the answer is loved it or liked it, right? So say that this is the answer. So here I'm showing them this question. Nice, what did you like about SQB? And they can type in the answer here. Now I'm going to refresh this page because I want to pick a different answer and show you what happens. I'm going to refresh it. All right, so we are back here again. So I'm going to start again. This time I'm going to select this answer. I hated it. See, the next question is different. It says, uh-oh, do you mind telling us what you didn't like about SQB, right? So they can type in their answer. This is a survey funnel with branching logic where uh, the questions they see depends on their previous answer. All right, so I'm going to refresh this page again. All right, so I'm back at the survey page again. So let's get going. What was your first impression? See, they say, I loved it. What did you like? Say that they say ease of use. Next. What would you like to see as improve support for custom fields? So how likely are you rec to recommend? Say that they select very likely. Uh, that's why this next question is relevant to their previous answer. So what is the main reason? So it could be because of ease of use, support, maybe features. So they can select multiple because this is a multiple choice question. Next, overall quality, how would you rate SQB? Say they say, great. How would you rate its value for money? And uh, that's it. Opt-in form next, they can opt in here. And this is the answer screen, thank you so much for your time. And they can click on it to continue. That's how an SQB survey funnel works. All right, so now let me take you behind the scenes to show you how you can set this up. So this is Smart Quiz Builder Manage Quizzes page. You can see this is my survey. I'm going to edit it and show you my settings. All right, so this is the survey settings, basic settings, give your survey a name, description, and there are four types of quizzes here. I have selected the type as survey. Display settings here. I'm just using all the default options in page, one question per page, progress bar, yes, slide in animation, no, uh, retake, no. Lead generation at the end of the survey, do you want them to opt in? Connect with your platform. SQB integrates with several uh, email platforms and we'll continue to add more to this list. This is what we already have and Zapier, Integrately, Pabli Connect. So all of these different platforms, it also supports webhook notification. There are so many different options for integration. By default, SQB will add users that complete the survey, uh, survey responses, all of that in WordPress, and you will find all the details in the SQB Manage Leads page. All right, so here I'm not adding it to any external platform. They're just going to be there in SQB, and I'll find all the details in the Manage Leads page. Uh, and then I'm just using the default options, as I said. So in display settings, I really didn't do anything except I just selected template number five. By default, template one is selected here. I want to use uh, this template. This is a new template that we have just introduced and it looks really good. So I'm just using this survey here and uh, save and next. 
So there are four different screens here in SQB, start screen, outcome screen, questions, and lead generation. You just have to follow the steps and fill it out. Lead generation is optional. You can turn it off uh, in the display settings. All right, so this is the start screen, and you can see here, this is the template I'm using. And on the left side, uh, what you see here, I'm using a background image. So here, add background image, I have enabled it. I have uploaded an image, and you can click on this change image button to uh, change the image. This is the default image which I'm using and you can adjust the image size if you want. Uh, and uh, the color that you see here, the background color that you see here, it's customizable. And uh, so basically you can click on it, you can change the opacity as well, like this. And everything is click and edit, all right? So you can change the text that shows up here on the left side, on the right side. You don't wanna use background image, you can turn it off and just use colors on the left and right. You can use different color for left section and a different color for the right section. So it looks really good. And the button here that you see, there's a button customizer. You can adjust the width, height, uh, background color. If you want to change the color, if you want to change the border radius that you see here, if, if you want to change it, you can do this as well. All right, so moving on to the outcome screen. This is a survey. So outcome in a survey is just a thank you message, right? So here you can see left side, I'm just saying, thank you so much for your time. On the right side, whatever message you want, you can add here. Continue with SQB button will show. If you don't want it, you can get rid of it. Uh, the text, you can just click and edit, and where it links to, you can control that here. You can see here it says insert link. So you can just click on it, enter the URL of the page to which you want to send users when they click on continue uh, button, but you don't have to uh, have this button. You can always delete this button if you don't want it, all right? So that's all as far as, um, as, far as the outcome. Now let's take a look at the questions. Now here you can see I have nine questions in the survey, but not everyone is going to see all of these questions. The reason is I have enabled branching. The questions they see depends on their previous answer. I'm using a quiz funnel. So we'll take a look at my quiz funnel setup in a bit. But here you can see question number one, left side I'm using this image. Again, you can change the image. Uh, click on this to change the image, upload a different image. Uh, if you don't want an image, you can just use simple colors and it will still look really good. And uh, whatever text you want here, you can add, edit, change the style. You can see here all of these question types are already supported. We'll be adding a lot more to this list. And you can click on add new answer to add more answer choices. Here I have five and everything is click and edit. You can change the text. And so these are the five options where if users say, what was your overall impression of SQB? And say that uh, they said, I hated it. I didn't like it, right? I don't want them to see question number two where I say, nice, what did you like? It doesn't make sense to show them this question. So in this case, I want to show them The question after that is, what would you like to see us improve? All right, moving on to lead generation here. Um, I have a simple form here. Again, everything is customizable. You can change the background color like I'm using black. Everything is click and edit. We'll be adding a lot more options here. Also in the outcome screen, say that you want to assign a specific tag to users that to get a specific outcome. Now it's not really relevant in a survey where there is always one outcome, but say that it's a personality quiz where people get different outcomes based on their answers. You can click on this outcome tags to connect uh, the outcome they get with the right tag. So in your email platform, SQB will add the user and also give them the right tag. This way you can add them to the right uh, follow-up sequence in your platform, all right? So that's how this works, really simple. And we'll be adding a lot more things here. We'll be adding custom fields, want to collect additional information. Uh, you can, you will be able to do that. So in an upcoming update, we'll add that as well. We're also working on a mobile customizer that will allow you to create a completely different look for your mobile users in terms of style. So that's coming soon as well. You will notice that there will be a mobile preview and a mobile view, uh, mobile view customizer in an upcoming update. So at the end, SQB will give you a short code. All you have to do is copy this, publish it on a WordPress page, and you will have a survey. By default, 
if you have not uh, set up your branching logic, SQB will show all of these questions in a sequence. So if you just turn this off, you will notice that this will all happen in a sequence one after the other. SQB ask, will ask all of these questions and you can click on this to rearrange the order of the questions. But otherwise, SQB will just show these questions in this order. All right, so now let's take a look at the quiz funnels page. I want to show you how I have set up my survey funnel here. All right, so here on this page, you can select your quiz or your survey. I'm gonna select the first one here. And there is a zoom button. I'm going to make it smaller so I can see the whole thing. So first question is, what was your impression? First impression, right? So these are the possible answer choices. And you can see I have connected different answer choices to different next question. So the first one, uh, first two, if they say love it or liked it, I'm asking them, what did you like about it, right? So that's the relevant next question. And if they say, no, I didn't like it, I hated it. So my question is, do you mind telling us what was it that you didn't like about SQB? So I'm asking a different question and I'm only sending them to this. If they select these two answer choice, one of these, if they pick one of these. So I'm skipping these questions where it says, how likely are you to recommend? And uh, what's the main reason for recommendation? I don't want to ask them these questions when they are saying they didn't like it, right? I want to find out what is it that they didn't like. So this is a question that gets me that information. So this is a quiz funnel. If you want to connect a node, all you have to do is uh, connect it to the right next question, right? And if you want to disconnect a node, for example, say that this is not the next question I want them to see, I want to delete it. And I want to connect it to a different next question. All you have to do is disconnect and reconnect, all right? This is how it works. So now the questions, so now in the front end, the questions the users are going to see depends on their answers. This is how simple it is. So here you will find all of your questions. And the last node, after they answer this, um, no matter what they answer here, uh, they will be sent to the lead generation form if the opt-in is enabled, or they will be directly sent to the outcome page. And one more thing is, uh, as far as the outcome, if you don't want to send them to an SQB outcome screen, but send them to a completely different page on your website, you can do that too. You can set the redirect rule in the SQB outcome tab. And here you can specify if you want to display SQB's outcome screen, or if you want to send them to a completely different page, you can enter the URL of the page to which you want to send them after they complete your quiz or your survey. And you can follow the exact same steps to create a quiz funnel, exactly like this. Uh, the only difference would be uh, outcome, if it's a personality quiz, you'll probably have multiple outcomes, right? Uh, based on the answer choices, SQB will allow you to connect different answer choices uh, to different outcomes. So you can do that with the personality quiz and assessments and scoring quizzes. Here you will have different result outcome based on different scores they get, different number of correct answers they get. So that's the only part which is going to be slightly different, which is your outcome. But other than that, the whole process as far as creating a quiz Setting up the quiz funnel is exactly the same whether it's a quiz funnel or a survey funnel. I hope this was helpful and answers all your questions in terms of how you can create a survey funnel, a smart survey funnel, or a smart quiz funnel using Smart Quiz Builder. My name is Veena Prashant. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, you can use our support desk to open a support ticket. You can join my Facebook group. You can post your questions there. It's not for support, but if you have any generic questions about SQB, you're welcome to post it in my Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.